Hey guys, I'm out for a jog over here in Ogden. Oh, I'm repping my son's T-ball hat, Winter Park Optimist. Uh, we're, image we're sponsored by Image Promotions, so there's a shout out for you. Uh, I would like to say that we're an undefeated T-ball team, but I guess we're not really keeping score. But anyway, proudly representing the team that I help coach. Uh, so back to the story. I'm running, uh, jogging through this neighborhood, past a listing that, I, that I've sold that actually closes tomorrow. And I just wanna share a quick, uh, quick background on this house. Um, long story short, the owners had interviewed five to six different agents, uh, possibly more, um, and they ended up going with me. And when I asked them, uh, how, what, what was your deciding factor? How did you choose me over these agents? And it came down to two things. One, I didn't try to cut the price on their house to try to quick sell. Uh, and two, I backed up all my numbers. And, and the thing that's important about that, every agent that interviewed to list this house was giving them values that were fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 less than what I thought that it would sell for. And they weren't providing any backup support for those numbers. Uh, so I came in, we, we toured the house, I went back to my office, I did my homework, did some real digging around to, so that we could find every possible penny that we could find for the value of this home. And you know, we, we, we set it at the very top of the market. In fact, we exceeded the top price as far as comps go. And the house did have to go uh, on the market for two to three weeks. And over those two to three weeks, we had a lot of showings. Uh, must have been probably two dozen at least showings. And uh, the feedback that came in was pretty consistent. The agents thought that the house was priced too high. Uh, well, however, we stuck to our guns. We knew the value of the house uh, for what the house is and the upgrades that are to the house. Brand new roof, brand new air conditioner, two car garage, brand new floors, brand new kitchen, brand new appliances, brand new paint, and the list goes on and on. Uh, so we were justified in setting the highest price for the neighborhood and we ended up getting that price. We didn't give one inch on the price of this home uh, and the house did appraise and it went through inspections and passed and it closes tomorrow. Uh, so. There's the light, light at the end of the tunnel for you. So the lesson here is when you're interviewing agents, don't necessarily go for the agent that's going to pay less commission uh, or accept less commission because you know these sellers did have to pay an extra half of a percent of commission to hire me. Um, but in exchange, they were able to sell their house for $20,000 more than the last agent said that they would be able to sell it for. So it's a, definitely a net positive for them by thousands and thousands of dollars. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, but two, also, when you're getting agents to give you prices for your house, have them bring support for those prices. Um, don't let them just throw numbers out of thin air. Uh, you know, it's no secret there's thousands of agents to choose from. So get the agents who are actually selling houses, doing homework, and bringing backup support for the prices that they feel that your house will sell for. And do they have experience negotiating and sticking to their guns versus the agents that will cut the price or talk you into accepting a lower price in hopes of a faster sale? That's all I got for you. Pretty long-winded. I thought it was gonna be a 30-second video. Now it's three minutes. But I'm gonna get get on with my jog, uh, so I can support and promote my son's T-ball team throughout the neighborhood. So as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.